what's up guys ab investments is with you uh, i'm just doing a little market update uh you know to get you guys going with 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 what i think is happening um i think it i think if you've been if been if you've been following me you know i don't go for the hype or any of that stuff but i think this is might be time to throw in the uh towel and give in to that hype and here's why Look at the news all around us. I'm putting all like all the news together. I'm not saying like you know any of these guys is like our friends or anything, but you know sometimes again it looks like they're even pushing for the narrative of corruption and and all that stuff. So this is it. I can see it. Um, I remember back in June when literally like I was yoloing in on a lot of calls and. Uh, you know when 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 AMC what is at, was at its worst, um, and it was like for four or five months uh, since January, like just in that f between five to twelve dollar range. If you if you've been there, then you you know what I'm talking about. But it was bouncing between the five to twelve dollar range for, you know, five to six straight months, um, and at that time. There was a lot, a lot of more uncertainty than than ever because you know that run to seventy two made the non believers believers. So back then, I was getting laughed at a lot by a lot of people, um, you know, inner circle. A lot of people that are around said it was impossible, and you know, it was a it's a dying thing. GME was it? Even GME community was. Uh, you know, just like kind of throwing shade at AMC and all that stuff and calling us, um, you know, even though, again, we're, we're investors, like I invest in both, um, but they were throwing shade at, you know, AMC saying, oh, it's the, it's, it's the cheap man or the uh, <laughs> poor man's uh, stock and all that stuff. And guess what? Um, I, I, <laughs> at that time, I was telling them one thing and that one thing got me to make a lot of money and which is I had that conviction which is why I keep talking about that and keep stressing that into almost all the videos have your conviction have your strategy don't give up on the play um, and I remember that time leading up toward the end of May that's when you know things started moving and it first went out from broke out of that $12 range or ceiling at that time for five months to the 14 and 16 dollar range and at that point i was like okay that's it like it, it, this is how, like you know whatever we're feeling and going through right now was literally the same exact like it, it's like deja vu was happening back then and again if you've been a part of that back then you you know what i'm talking about uh the crazy part is that this is even way more bullish than back then because back then People anticipated that that was it, that the squeeze is up on us. And uh, they made the biggest heist at that time, uh, institutions that is, by selling that narrative, then, uh, you know, pulling the rug from underneath everybody's feet because, you know, the highest it went to was 72. And that was just them, uh, you know, collecting a lot of premiums, a lot of options, and they made a lot of money themselves on options. And, you know, it was just a nightmare back then. Um, I remember that chaos. The reason why this is different is because they both are having the same hype, like now and back then, leading up to the moment. The same hype is there. The reason why this one is a little different is because you have even the CEO of AMC, which again, um, I have nothing against the guy. He doesn't know me. I don't know him. I don't know him. Um, <clears throat> even him, he's coming out and like you know pushing that narrative, saying the DOJ and you know all that and the probe. Um, you know, lo like lo looking into short sellers' illegal malpractice in short selling to drop prices. Um, personally, I think that all the and, and you have other like hedge fund managers preaching the same um it, right if, what it looks like is everyone right now is trying to point the fingers slowly and slowly and, and and mark my words actually fact check me on this 
they are slowly and slowly, like, you know, kind of preparing the fire for the meal. They're just waiting, or we're just waiting to see who's the sacrificed sheep. This, the sheep to be sacrificed um, is to be soon pointed out. Like, it, it, that's that's what it is. They're just preparing the party. Everybody's doing their end. I think they were all uh, accomplice to all this all along. Um, it's just about the... <laughs> The 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 uh, I call it the Ocean's Eleven uh, style of, of of being very very slick. We're all cool and smart and fun and everything. And then um, when it's time for you know for for Doomsday, <laughs> then everybody would you know everybody would have by then made as much money as they possibly could have taken, unfortunately, um, and they would have you know been all good. And they'll just choose. Or find one that that that's so neck deep into the shit to just throw and sacrifice into that fire pit, and everyone is gonna that basically having a face for all this madness. You know, everything needs a face. You know, I remember when when when, when like every everything we know of, like even storms, <laughs> uh, have have names. You know, based on the person I guess that first saw it or. Uh, announced it or something. I don't know how they come up with that, but I thought I think that that's how they came up with it. Um, but yeah, every every situation needs a face so that history can remember it by. Um, forever, COVID will be remembered by you know a few faces, and 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 it will always somehow be just you know framed about whether it is or not. It, it will everybody will remember China, you know, or an agent. Um, when they think COVID, that's the first thing that comes to mind because that's just what the media has been spreading, you know. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting on now the uh, the sacrificial goat uh, for the feast. We're on our way up. I can see it happening now. That does not mean go and yolo in and just go crazy. Um, on like you know options or whatever because they could do whatever they did in June they could do it again because you know they don't necessarily need to let this go all the way uh, to whatever prices that we're thinking of you know they could literally pull the same thing that they did in June and just keep keep kind of having it at like a um, an open you know like faucet kind of like releasing pressure along the way every six months or so just you know do something like that or every year or so do something like that until all the night the madness is gone um i highly doubt that because you're talking about the whole stock market was 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 kind of a hostage to to this whole doing because too many eyes are just watching you know we're like all of us are like you know you you, you got <laughs> you got like apes in our family that are out there uh, you know putting out so many info like they they they, may, they, they don't, there's no need for, anymore for FBI or DOJ or CIA or whatever because the people have polished and like have made and polished these skills of using the technology which is like the media the internet to our advantage like we're all informed now and so many things that are happening on the inside are coming outside um and, and obviously uh the 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 one percent does not want that and it's not in everybody's interest to have that because that provides uncertainty and for them and it provides chaotic behavior so they don't want anything or anyone staring down on every move that they make you know privacy is everything to these guys you know they wanna they wanna <laughs> rob you and kill you um, in, in 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 broad daylight without anyone seeing it if they could possibly do that. So again, guys, sub subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and if you have any questions about anything, whether it's uh, options, whether it's about uh, anything, again, just please feel free to reach out. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Much love from AB Investments. Let's see what happens after the re reverse repo and uh, the repo and reverse repo operations today. So around 120, 130-ish, we're expecting to see that nice push. I mean, oh, one, one big thing. Actually, no, I'll make a video about that, uh, about BBIG. 
right after this. So again, much love. Sorry for the confusion.